हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लास नाइन वीडियोस ऑफ चैप्टर वन नंबर सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू लोकेट इरेशनल नंबर्स ऑन द नंबर लाइन एस यू आर अवेयर द कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल रैशनल नंबर्स एंड इरेशनल नंबर्स टुगेदर makes up the collection of real numbers which is denoted by the symbol r therefore a real number is either rational or irrational in the 1980s two german mathematicians cantor and dedekind showed that corresponding to every real number there is a unique point on the number line and corresponding to every point on the number line there exists a unique real number this is why we call the number line as the real number line today in this video let us see how we can locate some irrational numbers on the number line to begin let us locate root 2 on the number line for this consider a number line and locate a point one unit away from o and name it as p now draw a perpendicular pq of length one unit now you may be thinking Why should I do this to draw root 2 on the number line? Let's check the reason. Here when we join Q to O, a right angled triangle OPQ is formed. Right angled at P. All right. Now what about the length of the hypotenuse OQ? According to Pythagoras theorem in a right angled triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides Here OQ square equals OP square plus PQ square So we get the value of hypotenuse OQ as root 2 next using a compass with center o and radius oq draw an arc intersecting the number line at the point r this point r corresponds to the hypotenuse root 2 on the number line so we located the irrational number root 2 on the number line so to represent root 2 on the number line we constructed a right angled triangle opq such that the length of the hypotenuse is root 2 similarly to locate root 3 on the number line construct another right angled triangle ors with rs perpendicular to or length of the side rs equals 1 unit and or equals root 2 units as per pythagoras theorem we will get the length of the hypotenuse as root 3 units now using a compass with center o and radius os draw an arc intersecting the number line at the point t this point t corresponds to hypotenuse root 3 on the number line so this is how 
to plot irrational numbers on the number line. In the same way, we can plot root 4, that is 2, root 5, root 6, root 7, etc. on the number line. In the same way, we can locate root n for any positive integer n after root n minus 1 has been located. Now, have a close look at the diagram. Keeping the first right angle triangle OPQ as it is. Let's rotate the second triangle ORS with hypotenuse root 3 in such a way that the base root 2 units of the second triangle ORS coincides with the hypotenuse root 2 of the first triangle OPQ. Next, rotate the third triangle such that the base root 3 of the third triangle coincides with the hypotenuse root 3 of the second. Go on and we get a beautiful square root spiral depicting root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5 and so on. Hope you understood locating irrational numbers on the number line. In the upcoming class, we will learn real numbers and their decimal expansion.